Mark Levin. That's it. Bye. That's it. Bye. Okay. Now for the start of the show. Everyone else is talking of bit players. Peons. Not research scientists. Not publications. Not international. The next guy is international. He's one of the top three international experts in this whole field. Dr. Paul Alexander. Dr. Alexander was at meetings with Trump and Fauci. He knows exactly what happened. Paul, take it away. Hey, how are you guys out there? Yeah. Let's give it up for Canada. Yeah. Listen. We have to thank our police for being out here today protecting us. Yeah. Let's give it up to the police! Yeah. And we can't forget our Canadian truckers who are leading this world right now. Eyes on us here, what we do next. Yes. Let's give it up to Canadian truckers. Yeah. How are you guys over there? How are you over there? Listen, it's hard to follow Dr. Hodkinson. He's a world-renowned pathologist. But the facts are clear. And we speak as academic scientists, clinicians, specialists. It is time to declare the pandemic emergency over. COVID is done. COVID is done. Omicron tells you this. Omicron has presented this government, this presented United States, an exit strategy, an off-ramp, if they are brave enough to take it. Look, the facts from the beginning were very clear to us. We knew, we knew in April of 2020, that COVID was amenable to risk stratification. We knew that all we needed was a basic age risk stratified approach. We did not need to lock this society down. We never should have locked this society down. We killed Canadians locking this society down. How are you guys over there? We close schools. We beg them. We beg them in the UK. I was part of the discussion. Trump, Trump fought with that task force daily. I was there. Trump begged them to open schools. He begged them to open the society. What you saw daily on that news from April, May was real. He was fighting Fauci and Burks daily. It was like a clown car up in that White House. And he begged them open the schools. Why? Because we had reports coming up from the different states. Little children, seven and eight years old, hung themselves in America. We killed children with the school lockdowns. Never, ever must we allow this Canadian government, Doug Ford, Trudeau, anyone to lock our children down again. Never! all of the science. I looked at every single study across this world. Me and a group, we looked at every society that locked down. We looked at every society that closed schools, every study. We looked at every mass mandate. And not one, not one instance 
than a lockdown, a school closure, or mass mandate work. We harmed people, we killed people, and we must never allow these governments this emergency power again because they will maximally abuse us and kill us. Look, there are many, many smart people behind me. And our role here is this. These truckers, these truckers came together based on common sense. They felt like something is wrong here. I'm a healthy person. I'm unvaccinated. I want to exercise my natural immunity. And the media and the society and the government is trying to tell them that they are fringe and they have nothing to back them up. I say no. I want this stage to tell you the truckers have 100% of the science behind them. Yeah. How are you guys over there? <coughs> Let me talk about Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah. Is it working? Yes, it's yeah. working. Okay, listen to me. When we look at the vaccines, this is very important because this is why we are here. When we look at the science, the science tells us we had a seminal study last year of the Barnes Stables, Massachusetts. It showed us 75% of the attendees at a function in America were testing positive after being double vaccinated. That caused the CDC director to rush to the podium and tell Americans to double mask. Then we had a study out of Ho Chi Minh City at the same time, published in the Lancet Journal, told us that double vaccinated nurses were transmitting infection at 251 times the viral load. We knew that the vaccine was failing on Delta then, and then came Omicron. The vaccine has failed. It does not work. It does not work on Omicron. If you have taken two shots, I am talking to you based on the science. Do not take a booster. Yeah. When we look at the science, and we want to talk about our children here before I end about the mandates. Our children bring statistical zero risk to the table. Children are almost zero risk, and the data has been clear for 20 months. They do not get readily infected. They do not transmit to children. They do not take it home. They do not get severely ill, and they do not readily die from COVID. What the news in Canada what Public Health Agency, what Health Canada have told you was a lie and has been a lie. No healthy child, no healthy child in America, no healthy child in Germany, no healthy child in Sweden, I know the data, has ever died from COVID. Oh, wow. Your child is at infinitesimally small risk from COVID virus and because they bring zero risk to the table. This vaccine skews only towards harm, under no condition, absolutely no condition. No one has prosecuted the case yet. No Theresa Tam, no Howard New, no Davila, no Christine Elliott, no Doug Ford. No one has told you yet why your child 
must get a vaccine under no condition. Let them touch your child with these vaccines. You, you as parents, you as parents are faced with a simple risk management decision. That's what this is now. And ask yourself a simple question. My child brings such low risk to the table, yet with a product that could harm them, that could debilitate my child for the rest of, the, of their lives. None of these players have liability. The only person exposed is your child. They are protected unless they put liability protection on the table. Unless Howard New says that if your child dies, you can take me into court and strip me of everything. You do not let them near your child with the vaccine. No. no. Under no condition. Never. And I want to end. I want to end with the mandates. The data is very clear. We have data from Wisconsin by Ray Mersma. We have the Brown et al. study from Barnes Stable. We have study after study, Chow et al., Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam. We have Salvatore. We have every study shows us there's no difference today between a vaccinated and an unvaccinated person. No difference. These mandates must be dropped to bring, to bring an unvaccinated truck into this country. They are absolutely correct because the vaccinated trucker is capable of transmitting pathogen at the same rate as the unvaccinated. So you should not be constraining the unvaccinated. Allow them to earn a living. Allow them to come into the country and work. Please allow them because these people are suffering. They cannot earn a living. And we must stop that the vaccine mandates must end. There's no scientific basis and we tell And what we are saying, there's a group of us here, we are waiting <coughs> and we are saying, we are opening our arms to Theresa Tam, to Howard Newman, we are saying, come, 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 bring your science, because we have the science to show, mandates are not needed. So tell us the place and the time, and we want to sit with you and your entire public health agency, your entire Health Canada, and we will lay it out for you why the vaccine mandates must end. Yeah. So, I want to end, I want to turn it over now to one of my colleagues, Dr. Braden, Dr. Laura Braden, here. And she is going to take it over now and continue this discussion. And once again, long live the truckers of Canada! Yeah. Long live Canadian police! Our police, our military. And I am one of the silenced and censored scientists that have been questioning this BS for two years. Yeah. Now, I want to talk to you as a mother. That's what I want to talk to all the mothers and fathers the mother's intuition has been ignored for two years. There is nothing more powerful on the face of this planet than a mother, her intuition of what she should do with her children. Yes. Nothing. This is stronger than a medical degree. This is stronger than any fact sheet that you're hearing from public health. And it is stronger than any goddamn mandate. And there are mothers in trucks lining this street. There are fathers in trucks who have said enough. And as a mother, I want to say the attack on our children is unequivocally ground zero for this fight. So to all you mothers who knew better, good for you. For all you mothers who ask questions, 
thank you for being the advocate for your children that we have needed because public health has unequivocally abandoned you. And I want to wrap up quickly. As you heard, the science is clear. There is no emergency. The science is clear. The mandates are harmful, not needed, and unnecessary. The science is clear. This vaccine mandate is complete horseshit. So thank you so much. I'm going to hand it off to the next doctor who is waiting to speak. Dr. O'Shane Killian.